Hey, what's going on guys? So if you're interested in adding some cool details to your Gunpla and other model kits, there's a secret weapon used by a lot of modelers. I want to introduce you to the humble bread clip. In today's video, we're going to be going over a few different ways that you can use bread clips as a material to add details to your Gunpla. Let's go ahead and get into it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Master Grade Amazing Red Warrior here that I would just want to add a few little detail bits to before working on painting that kit. So there is also going to be a few other different tools that we are going to use. But first, let's just talk a little bit about our bread clips here. So obviously, they come in many shapes and colors. They do all a lot of times have a general uniform shape to them as in even if they're from different brands and even if they're slightly different colors they are usually going to have a similar shape like you can see on the outside of here they share the same shape which will come in handy a little bit later on but essentially all a bread clip is is just a piece of plot plate now the thickness I'm not entirely sure of it looks like it's about 0.8 and if I have some other pieces this is just a scrap piece of plot plate here this is one millimeter you can definitely tell it looks a little bit thinner than that this is uh, 0.5 millimeter and it definitely looks a bit thicker than that. So it's somewhere in between 0.5 and one millimeter in thickness. I would start off by just giving the surface a light sanding just to number one, get rid of any printing on there. Also just by the way that these are stamped out, the edge around the outside is gonna be kind of sharp sometimes on a lot of them, and that's just not going to look good when painting. So in this case, I'm just using a uh, Infini 800 grit sanding sponge here, sanding a soft type sanding stick, I should say. I'm just gonna give it a good sanding here on the front and back just to get it nice and smooth and we can start working with it. And once we're done with that, we can start working on our first detail up option. This is gonna be the most common use probably that you're gonna see for the use of these bread clips. And that's for making a sort of heat radiator detail. I'm not sure if that's the correct word for it, but I'm sure you guys have seen it around on different kits. And basically all you're gonna to need to do for that is you're gonna take multiple clips like this and line them up. You'll notice they all are going to be sharing that same detail there on the side. Now, in order to make a radiator section, you're first gonna to need to know how big the area is that you wanna fill, and it's usually a fill area detail. And what I wanna fill is this part right here, that empty gap that you see at the top of the beam rifle. So how I'm planning on having the kit is like this with the weapon sort of spread out like that. So if we take that off, I can see this is the area that I want to fill. And this is where our first tool is gonna to come in handy. Now you really don't necessarily need to use this, but this is just a Tamiya caliper, which is just going to help us to determine exactly how much space we're going to need to fill here and it looks like that's going to be right about at four millimeters so it's going to lock that in then we can going to go over here to our other side and stack our bread clips and it looks like that's going to be right about at exactly the thickness of one two three four five bread clips so in order to get the look of the radiator basically you just want to offset these now how you do it you can do it in a lot of different ways and it's basically you're going to take one layer and then put the next layer you're going to glue on top of it not directly right in the same spot but a little bit down or a little bit off to the side sort of like that then you're going to take your next one and glue it in line with the first one like that and then you're going to take your next one and glue it back in line with the second one which we put a little bit down a little bit to the side and then take your next one and glue it back in line with the first one and it's going to give you that sort of radiator look like that so it's going to end up looking pretty cool and you don't have to necessarily stick with the detail that you have on here one thing that you can do is go ahead and just kind of uh, lightly glue all these together so just put a little bit of glue on them just so that they're stuck together and you can then file in the side and why don't we go ahead and just try that right now so all right using some extra thin cement just put a little bit of cement on these to get them lined up and they're going to be held together enough for us to do some filing on them but then then I'm going to have to take them apart again. So you don't want to glue them super, super well. It's just gonna be using some Tamiya basic files here. And what this is going to allow us to do is just to really make them uniform because we can just go ahead and just file across all of them so that they're all gonna be the same now. And then also clean up any little bits. So I can see like in here, that's not like super cleanly cut. It's basically sort of the equivalent of like a nub mark that you didn't clean up properly. So I just wanna make sure get everything filed all nicely and take a look at the again the space that we need to fill you can see that basically we're only going to use like this half so this half right here as looking at it from the top you can see that's going to fit like just perfectly right in there but on the side we're going to have like this little bit of detail but this little like bump down here at the bottom is going to be kind of like right at the bottom there it's pretty much just not going to show so rather than just having this big straight line right there i maybe want to just have a little kind of notch detail right in there as well. Here's where I can also take the file. And if I just file a detail in right here, then I'll have just another kind of like uh, detail in our 
uh, par of the year, I guess. All right, so after doing that, and you can see here now we've just kind of changed the profile to be a little bit more detailed and not just like kind of having that straight line. Now we can pull these apart once again, and then we're going to stack them unevenly as we were just talking about before. So you can see just that little bit of glue on there held it together enough that we can still pop these back apart now. Gluing them back together, now I'm going to want to use a much more substantial amount of glue or just kind of a normal amount now gluing them back in our offset pattern here and as you can see now we have a cool radiator detail but we have to now just cut it to fit into where we need it to go so while i'm waiting for a minute for that glue to dry i just want to point out that this is the kind of detail that honestly you can add anywhere like say for example if you wanted to have the skirts extended and rather than having these missiles in here you wanted to add this kind of radiator detail you could add that right into there or another uh, part where I thought about doing it was up here on the top of the shoulder where there's that little kind of rectangular little cutout right there. I uh, thought about adding it right there. Alternatively, of course, you can scribe out detail. They say, for example, you take your chisel and scribe out a kind of rectangle right here on the front of the shoulder and you want to add it in there. It's just a matter of using your bread clips and creating a piece like this and then just cutting it down to the size that you need to fill and then just filling the gap with this uh, radiator detail that we're custom making here so all right once that's glued i'm just gonna whip out my big saw here just because this is kind of thick it's gonna make quick work of just uh, cutting through this here real quick obviously using something with a little more finesse it's not a bad idea but uh, sometimes you're just in a hurry right so this is gonna do the job for this first cut anyway it will have to be a little bit more precise with the further cuts as we can see, once that's cut in half, that solves our problem. And I'm so glad that this fits in here so perfectly. It solves our problem of fitting in uh, depth wise, but it's sticking out too high height wise. So I need to also then cut it down a little bit at the base there. Probably a little bit more than I was expecting too, to be honest, but that's fine. All right, so we got it cut on the side and this side and it doesn't really matter at all how rough that is. Uh, I might try to clean up a little bit, but only the side that's gonna show is really what matters, which we already kind of cleaned up. I might sand it a little bit more just to be safe. But as we can see, now that's just gonna slot right in there like that. And there we go. We've got our cool radiator detail now, obviously as it is, it's not gonna look like much, but once it's painted, it's gonna blend in much more here with the rifle and it's gonna be just a nice uh, fill detail rather than just having this big empty slot there like that, uh, which would work fine if you are planning on combining the weapons as it's meant to be used for, but I'm not. So I just wanna have that in there and I think it's gonna look uh, pretty good, I think so. All right, there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. It's gonna look good once we get some primer on that so it blends in more. Next thing we're gonna do is going to be what I'm gonna call a large latch. And I think we're gonna demonstrate this first over here on this piece. There's a couple of pieces that I wanna do this on. But starting off with this piece right here from the side of the forearm. So basically what we're going to be doing now is just adding some detail. We can go ahead and just use this uh, half a piece that we already cut off. I'm gonna put a photo up on the screen for you guys to see or a couple of them for you to see. These are from uh, Keno-san on Twitter. I highly recommend following him. This is a detail that he adds to a lot of his kits that I absolutely love. It looks super simple. I've actually never tried it before, but I've been looking forward to trying it and this is a perfect opportunity to try it out. So it's basically a matter of cutting a single piece of plot plate, which is going to look like the main center part. It's basically three lines that you need to make. One center part is going to be the main line of plot plate in the center, which is larger and which is going to look like our main latch piece. And then two smaller pieces on the side of there, which are just like little bits of detail on the side. So really don't need to be too scientific at all. I do need to make it so that it kind of matches the angles here and here. The top part just needs to kind of stick up a little bit. Let's just first cut about roughly the size that we're going to need here for this. It's going to be definitely no larger than that. And then we're just going to kind of cut it to about what's going to look right here for the top of our detail. And once I got the bottom part, what is it going to be the bottom part? What is going to be glued against the part here is what I mean. Once I got that kind of to just the right shape, as you guys can hopefully see there, then the top part, the further cuts that we're going to make really don't matter because this is what's going to be glued onto the part. And we're going to cut that down to size some more too. But from now, I can just cut whatever shape I want for the top part to look like.
Uh, all right, now we're getting so small, I'm gonna have to switch to tweezers here. But this little piece is going to be the center part of our lash detail. Now, this would be a good time if you were having to duplicate this. Now, this is only gonna be the only one that I need because the other forearm doesn't have this detail. But say if you were doing this on a part that's symmetrical, if this part was on the left and the right side forearm, and once you have this piece cut out, now would be a good time to cut a second piece. Use this one to trace onto the piece of plot plate or whatever to cut a second piece to make sure that they're the same size. Fortunately for me, in this case, I don't need another one. So just gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of that and first stick this right here in the center there we go happy with that now i can see that my cuts weren't exactly perfect and we can sand this down more later once the glue is dried i can kind of sand that down just to clean it up just to make it look a little bit more simple so that's the center part now the two parts on the side are going to be really simple I just need a couple little square bits to go like one on this side and one on this side right there and that's really about it Okay, and once those are glued on there like that, you can see this is kind of generally how that's going to look and it makes for a really uh, easy latch detail. Now it's not perfect, needs a little bit more cleaning up I think. And also I think this is probably even a little bit too thick. Even for 100 scale, I think I would probably stick with 0.5 millimeter plot plate as just the thickness to use for this because even at, I think this is probably like again 0.8 or so, it's still uh, kind of looking a little bit thick for 100 scale. So definitely if you are working on a 144 scale, would definitely go even smaller uh, in terms of the plot plate thickness that you're going to use but again just as a substitute for plot plate so say for example if you can't find any or it's just not easy to get a hold of where you live or this is just a very cheap substitute for plot plate you can see how that lash detail is going to look on there and again it'll look a lot better once i get that a little bit more cleaned up and get some primer on there so it kind of blends in more we'll see so i want to add that same kind of detail around onto a couple of these armor bits and then we'll go ahead and take a look at one more way that you can use your bread clips to add some more details all right so there's my couple of large latches added onto the front skirt i do also want to add a couple onto the top of the chest but the third and final way to use bread clips that i want to cover here in this video is just going to be for uh, armor layering so for example here on the knee it's just kind of this flat space and i think what might look cool is just to add another layer of armor on top of this the which is just slightly smaller which will give us kind of a borderline around our added layer between the lower and upper layer so it's not going to necessarily add thickness onto here it will but it'll add thickness while also making a detail around the edge of the piece that we're going to be adding onto here so we're just going to figure out just about roughly how big a piece that we're going to need here something like that and just like we did before, kind of before I cut this down to size, I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue and put two of these together because I'm going to need two pieces uh, for the left and the right knee. I could just make it asymmetrical, I suppose, but I want it to be symmetrical. So in order to have a piece for the left and the right knee that are gonna be exactly the same, easy way to do that is just to glue two pieces together. Again, kind of light on the glue so that you can pry them apart again later or cut them apart, we'll talk about that. But for right now, I'm just going to get these glued together so that then once we cut out and file out this shape, which is gonna be our piece of armor, we're gonna add onto the front of here, then we've got two pieces that are exactly the same. All right, so I've got that shaped into a nice little armor panel here, cut the corners there as well. And so that's gonna fit onto the front of the knee like that, but we need to separate these now as we have our two pieces stuck together. It's gonna to be way too thick. I'm gonna just carefully use my knife blade here to separate these apart again. And now we have two pieces that are exactly the same. So I'm gonna sand those down a little bit just to make sure that they're nice and smooth, especially on the glue side. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on here and get it straight in the center as best I can. And like I was saying before, I think that this uh, bread clip is even at 100 scale a little bit thick and it would be good for like 160 scale or 148 scale anything larger like that uh, for 100 scale it's still kind of a thick piece but you can see that uh, it's gonna be pretty good on there and I can also sand this down later if it's if I do find that it's kind of it looks like it's like sticking out too much it's too thick and again it's gonna look a lot better once you get some uh, surfacer or primer sprayed on there just so it's blending in it's not looking like this big white chunk sticking out of a red piece of armor but I can sand down the thickness I'm also planning on just adding some like little drill hole like rivet details in here as well so that's also going to help to enhance the look but 
really easy, just simple little thing you can do there. Anyway guys, so there you have it. So just with some common bread clips, a few basic tools, easy way to add some detail to your Gunplay. And obviously this is only a couple of the things that you could do. You could absolutely, I mean, this is just plot plate. So anything that you can do with plot plate, you can do with these as well. You can stack it more. You can use it for adding more detail. You can also use it for extending proportions, adding plot plate on. Also, if you want to scribe and use this to fill in like scribe details, like I said, anything that you can do with plot plate, you can do with this as well. So it just makes for a really nice and easy, cheap substitute. I mean, maybe not cheap if you're buying the bread just for the bread clip, but if you're buying bread, typically you can get these and uh, just don't throw them in the trash or don't throw them in the recycling, save them and you can use them as plot plate for your kids. So hope that helps. Obviously, like I said, there's a lot more that you could do with this, but that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys do have questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to work on this guy a little bit more and then you guys should see him uh, in the painting process pretty soon. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you want to check out some, not bread clips, of course, but paints, tools, and supplies, model kits, of course, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. If you also want to make sure that you're subscribed, that helps out a lot. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about these tips. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Later.